This video is sponsored by DeskIn, the easiest way to turn your Mac or your iOS devices into an extended screen for your laptop. Anytime you need more screen real estate, DeskIn will do that for you. You don't need a second monitor, you can just extend the screen to your devices using DeskIn. It supports 4K 60 frames per second, it has low latency, and with the extended screen feature, it works wirelessly and flawlessly. I can just drag files from my laptop to my Mac wirelessly, and it works really, really well. I can even drag like a PDF document to my iPad, or even drag like a web page or a video file to my iPhone from my laptop. Of course, it works cross platforms, so it doesn't matter whether you're using Windows, you're using a Mac, or your iOS device, it will work flawlessly. Deskin also offers a mirroring screen feature, which allows me to quickly mirror the screen of my laptop to my Mac with a couple of clicks. Deskin also offers a virtual screen feature, which allows us to create up to three different virtual screens. Now I can set my Mac or my iPad into three different virtual screens for my laptop and I can drag different files between different screens and also quickly switch between different screens. This will improve of course your workflow and also will reduce the cost of your work as you don't need to have a lot of monitors, all you need to have is desk in. So make sure you go ahead and give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of this video. And now let's get started with the video. In today's video, I will show you guys how to boost the signal strength of your iPhone and also improve the network performance on your iPhone. First off, let's get started with the signal strength of your iPhone. So you will see the bars right there on your status bar. You probably might have two or three there. And if you think you're not getting very good signal on your iPhone, there is actually a very simple trick that it actually works. I found out about this very recently and it's actually quite effective. So after you have tried it, let me know right down below in the comments if it has worked for you or not. So it's pretty simple. You head on to the seller settings. You will see right here some something called network selection. Now, when you go here, you will find this right here turned in automatic. So, which means that the network will automatically be selected by your iPhone. That's why you might not be getting the best signal on your iPhone. All you have to do is just turn this off and then select your carrier from the list of the carriers that you will see right there. Once you have done that, all you have to do next is head on to your control center and on the control center, just turn on the airplane mode and you're good to go. Turn on the airplane mode for like five or 10 seconds, turn it off back again and you have done the trick. Most likely you will get way better reception now on your iPhone. And now let's talk about improving the performance of your network. So when you're doing something, whether you're downloading something or watching a video or whatever you're doing, and you need to have good quality seller data or Wi-Fi, if you have also different tasks running in the background, that will mean that the thing you're currently doing is of course being interrupted by things going on in the background of your iPhone. That's why I suggest you go to your settings and go to general and right here under background app refresh, you will find a list of apps that are basically refreshing in the background, downloading stuff using your Wi-Fi or your seller. That's why you will have here two different options, Wi-Fi and seller data. Now, what I suggest you do here is you go and turn off the most amount of apps that you can. A lot of apps here are apps that you will probably use very early or you don't even need to be refreshing in the background. So make sure you go here and just turn off this for most of the apps that you don't actually need to be refreshing in the background. Next up, we're moving back to the seller settings. So head on to the seller settings and scroll all the way down. You will find here something called Wi-Fi Assist. Now, this is a great setting to have on your device. What it does, it basically uses seller data to help your Wi-Fi. Whenever you're using Wi-Fi and the connection is not that good, it will automatically switch to using seller data so it will improve the performance. So let's say you're in your house, you move to a room where the Wi-Fi signal is not that strong. This will work automatically. It switches again to seller data and one just try to stay connected to the Wi-Fi and use the network from there. It switches to seller data so you won't notice any interruptions. 
and just underneath it, you will have another option. Now we're talking about performance on seller data here. This is called iCloud Drive. You enable it, this will use your seller data to upload files to your iCloud Drive. Now this might be better turned off because while doing this, if you have this turned off, it will upload your stuff to your, to your iCloud Drive only when you're connected to your Wi-Fi. This won't interrupt your seller data. So of course, if your seller data is not that fast and you have this enabled, then it will be terrible. So we want to disable this. So only when you're connected to your Wi-Fi, this will be able to actually proceed and update, upload your, your files to your iCloud and on your seller data, you won't have this, you will have the best performance possible. Now, another thing when it comes to seller data is the low data mode option. Now, all this does is that it tries to reduce the amount of seller data usage that you have on your iPhone. Now, if you have limited plans, it's better you turn this on. That way it will stop basically like automatic updates and background tasks automatically so you don't have to actually bother about them. But if you have a good seller plan or an unlimited data plan, all you have to do is enable this and then of course everything will be done automatically. But again, this will be different in different cases, but for most time, I suggest that you keep this off if your seller data is good enough. Now things that will also have an impact on your seller data or automatic downloads. Whether you're on seller or on Wi-Fi, when you have something downloading in the background, of course, it will interrupt and slow down the speed of something maybe more important than, you, than you're using the Wi-Fi or the seller data for. And those automatic updates can be found, first of all, under the App Store settings. So you will have app downloads, app updates, and also in-app contents. All of these will be downloaded automatically without your confirmation if you have them enabled right here, which means that if you're doing something else and you need to have really good performance on Wi-Fi or seller, you might be having an app updating in the background that way interrupting your work. So I would suggest that you want to turn all these off in order to just focus on the main thing that you're doing. And of course, all these then can be downloaded manually as well. Another thing you can do is head on to privacy and security and then scroll all the way down here to analytics and improvements. Now right here we'll see a bunch of things that you will basically share with Apple. These are going from your iPhone to Apple of course helping it just like to make things better like the analytics here will have improvements in handwriting, improvements in health and activity, improvements in safety, improvements in Siri. All these will be basically stuff that is going from your iPhone through the network to Apple. So I suggest you turn these off as well. You will have a bunch of things here that I don't think you need to have enabled on your iPhone. They will of course consume data the same time that will also consume battery on your iPhone. So make sure you have all these turned completely off. Now, if you have done all of these things and you know you have a good Wi-Fi connection and a good seller plan and you still don't actually get like really good performance on your network, then I would suggest that you make sure, first of all, that you have your iPhone updated. Always make sure that you have the latest iOS update installed on your device because they are always improving stuff here, always fixing things. So make sure that you have the latest update. And also, if nothing is fixing it, then head on right here to transfer or reset iPhone tap on reset and you will have here a button that actually will reset all the network settings. Just keep in mind that by doing this, all the network settings on your iPhone will reset. Any setup that you have will be reset. All the passwords for the Wi-Fi will be deleted from your device. So it's basically just like a new device. Everything that has to do with network will be reset to their default. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please smash the like button and of course subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.